the show is real. It's called Our Dad Garage. He's my dad. Yeah. Alright, Harley, how old are you? Seven and a half. Seven and a half. And I'm using leverage. And you're using leverage, and that's how old you were when you pulled the first motor out of a car. How about that? Hey, Ruby, how old are you? Five. You're five. You're doing good, Harley. Let me try. You pump a few times, Lily. Ruby. Let Ruby pump up and down. Don't pull on it, just go up and down. Alright, folks, so well, there it is. Pull the motor out. Used a strap and a chain and a got it out of there so now i'll be able to go in here paint the back side of all that clean that up. what i'll hit that i'm going to hit all that again with that sandblaster and whatever new paint gets blasted off that'd be just fine uh, and i'll go ahead and disassemble all of the steering parts and go ahead and rebuild all that while i've got it in this position this is what i call the redneck rotisserie so i need to get to the other side of the frame to finish the sandblasting and the painting and I thought about doing it laying on my back, but I thought, you know, that's gonna be harder than I want to do. So I just moved it over where the spindle will drop over into the mud off the edge of the concrete. And all of the back brakes and posts will drop into the mud. So I had a little mud to clean up and I dropped them down and lifted it up using my engine hoist. And I think it makes a pretty good little redneck rotisserie. So I'm going to sandblast the bottom of that frame today and get the bottom painted and all cleaned up. And uh, I've ordered parts to rebuild the brakes in the front and back and do those kind of things. But I uh, just wanted to show you this is how I got the bottom done. Cool. Good morning. Lily, look. Hey. Look up here. Can you say good morning? Can you say good morning? You got your frog? Yeah. Frog. Well, all right, gang, as you can tell, the redneck rotisserie was a success. It's got that frame and all of this undercarriage blasted really clean. And uh, some of these parts are going to be replaced anyway. Uh, tie rod ends, those kind of things, and maybe even tie rods. Uh, all the bushings in the front end. But ma mainly what I wanted to do was blast all the road grime and uh, grease and just the stuff that was stuck on the frame. Get that all cleaned off and uh, so that now the underside can be painted as clean as the top side is. And that's gonna look real nice. Uh, whole frame rail got done. I went ahead and cleaned up the bottom side of these uh, leaf springs. They cleaned up really good. A couple little spots right there. I'll probably get that with a knife. Uh, but yeah. It's a mess. That uh, that sandblaster is not. I think I've made I've made excuses for it, trying to say that it's a it's better. It actually works better if if my sand was dry. I had really dry, good sand today. It still clogs up. It's still a pain. Um, it is what it is. It's worth every penny of twenty five dollars that you pay for it on Amazon. So if you guys want to try that, that's fine. Uh, it'll work. Uh, it'd be great if you had somebody with you to kind of keep uh, stirring the bucket and keeping your hose. It's very important to keep that the uh, feeder hose, the sand hose, uh, from looping or um, or being too vertical uh, because of the weight of the sand. Just can't it, the the suction that it makes doesn't overcome the weight of the sand, which is the problem with play sand. It weighs too much. It's got too much weight. Uh, in play sand and, and I did use play sand today to see if it was better than the regular sand it didn't clog as bad uh, but the head it's just heavy and uh, and it just sits inside the loops of the of that hose the thing that I finally did was I don't know if I don't see it out here um, that I used I, I finally traded the hose it came with for a clear hose and at least you can see if sands moving or not inside there uh, so you may want to try that anyhow uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry really good and then I'll get the rust-oleum out and I will do some rust-oleum painting here on the bottom of the frame rail. Redneck rotisserie worked well. I've probably got a few little spots down on that side that I'll need to kind of look at. I may flip it over uh, and lift it up the other way uh, after I get it down on the ground just to kind of take, take a look at it and see if I missed any spots. But it all looks really, really clean and black and good.
All right.